So the next thing what we'll do is we'll try to verify MST configurations. Now, if you remember, we discussed that in the VTP version three, there is an enhancement that if I create some MST configurations, like some instances of the VLANs, instance one with some VLAN 10 and 20, and then instance two with the VLAN 30 and 40, automatically it will synchronize this MST information to other switches automatically. So that's something what we are going to verify here. So the, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll do some configuration on MST. So I'll make the switch one. Uh, I want to make the switch one as the primary server for MST. Now, one thing we can uh, do is like for, for the VLAN, I can make a separate primary server. Now in my scenario, VLAN switch two is a primary server for the VLAN information. And then I can also have a switch one as a primary server for MST. Now it's not mandatory that you should have separate, but you can make the same switch to be the primary server for both VLAN and MST, or you can have a separate server, a separate server, primary server for MST and separate primary server for, for the VLAN. That is also uh, possible. So in my scenario, I'm going to make the switch one to be the primary server for MST configurations. And then the switch two will be the client for the MST configurations. Okay, and after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create some MST instances here on the switch one. I'll create some MST instances like I'll create VLAN 10 and 20 in the instance one, and then I'll, I'll make instance two. I'll create two instances on the switch one, and I want to ensure that switch two also should synchronize the v MST information on uh, when I verify. So let's go and verify the same. Now, before I do this, we need to enable the VTP for uh, VTP version three. The, the mode you have to change because by default, if you show VTP status, if you verify here, the feature for the MST is enabled. But the thing is, by default, MST configurations will will be in a default transparent mode. But whereas in case of feature VLAN, it will the default is server mode. But whereas for MST uh, information, the default is a transparent mode. So which means if even if you configure on both the switches, some MST instances, they will not synchronize because the transparent will not synchronize with each other. So that's the reason first what we'll do is we'll try to ensure that we go to switch one and we'll change the mode. So I'm going to say VTP mode. I'm going to make this switch one as a server. No need to configure the domain name and the password because it is already running and the version three is already there. So we just need to change the mode, VTP mode server, and then it will ask you the option for whether you want to do it for the VLAN or MST. Now for the VLAN already it is a server, so we don't need to do that. I'm going to make it for MST. For MST, uh, it will be, for MST it will be server. So once I do this, you can see setting the device to VTP server. And on the switch to, I'm going to make the VTP mode I'm going to say client and that too for MST. So the switch two will be the client for MST. And then on the switch one, I'm going to make switch one because uh, the you, if you want to make any changes to the VT MST configurations, like let's take an example. I'm going to say spanning tree MST configuration. Then I'm going to say exit. Now I can see that MST region is not configurable as the system is not the primary server. Now again here also even if you want to make any changes to the MST configurations that particular switch has to be the primary server and the default is not primary server so we need to change it to primary server again for changing the same command we need to go to the privilege mode and then we need to say VTP primary but this time we are going to make primary for MST now once I give this it will ask me the password password is NOA123 and then it's going to verify and then it will it will make the particular switch as a MST server and that too it will be a primary server. So it's asking me the confirmation. So just press enter. So now if you verify show VTP status, now I should see the switch one should be the primary server for MST. And right now the configuration revision is one and you can see there is a separate ser primary server for MST and we can also have a separate primary server for VLAN information. 
not mandatory you can make the same server uh, should be the primary server for both or you can have other servers as well now in my case i'm going to use the switch one as the primary server for mst uh, configurations so the next thing what we need to do is we need to do some configurations now this time once i make it as spanning tree mst configuration once i go to this mode now even if i exit it's not going to give me any messages now because it's a primary server you can make some changes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say domain name the region name is cci inside the mst and then the region number i'm going to give some some number and then i'm going to create some instance instance one and i'm going to uh, make 10 and 20 in the instance one and i'm going to make the vlan 40 as well as the vlan 30 in the instance two so i'm going to create two instances and then there's one more thing we need to do is we just need to enable spanning tree mode mst uh, this is something not really this is something you have to do it on all the all the switches okay so let me do it so now for verification we can say show spanning tree mst configuration now i should see now i can see the domain uh, region name is cci and the revision number and there are three instances which was created now we have uh, created instance one and instance two and we did not configure anything on the switch two but i should see that instance uh, information should be present here so show spanning tree mst configuration if i go and verify on the switch 2 you can see the mst information is automatically propagated to the remaining switches within the same vtp domain so this is something not applicable in the previous versions but in case of version 3 we can ensure that we can synchronize the v mst configuration information uh, but again one more thing you need to enable mst manually because default is per vlan uh, spanning tree and for that we need to say spanning tree mode mst anyway this is not compulsory we are not getting into the complete mst configurations here uh, we are just trying to verify the vtp version 3 how it is going to allow us to synchronize the mst configuration information now this is one one thing and apart from that so we have verified the mst configuration here now there is one more thing we learned in the VTP version 3. VTP version 3 allows you to uh, synchronize the private VLAN information also, right? So let's let's try to do that. So in case of uh, previous versions, like uh, private VLAN is something you can only configure on the transparent switches. Uh, it has to be in the VTP transparent mode and it doesn't work in the server on the client mode. That's what we, we have seen, uh, VTP transparent mode if you want your private vlans to work okay so and it, it works only the transparent mode but in case of vtp version 3 you can uh, you can run private vlans you can do some private vlan configurations like you can decide what is the primary vlan and what are the vlans you want to associate inside that and then you can also allow this particular information to automatically propagate to the remaining switches within the vtp domain so that is also possible so let's let's try to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create some vlans here i already have a vlan 10 so i'm going to take vlan 10 as my primary vlan okay so the prerequisite for this to understand is a private vlan configurations if you are aware of uh, probably here we're not getting into the private what is private vlan again so this will be my primary vlan and then i'm going to create some vlan 100 and vlan 200 will be acting as my secondary vlans and then i'm going to make this as isolated vlan and then this is as community vlan now all these configurations i'm going to do only on the switch 2 because switch 2 is my server primary server in case of vlans right so and that is something we can verify who is the primary server in my scenario show vtp status According to our continuation here, we we are making the VTP mode is a primary server switch to. So, but if you are doing, if you want to do the configuration on the switch one, you can change the role of the switch one from normal server to primary server also. But that's something I'm not doing here. I will go with the switch two itself here. Now switch two will be the uh, primary server for the VLAN information. 
So the next thing what we'll do is we'll try to configure some uh, VLAN information. So VLAN 10 is already created. So VLAN 100, VLAN 200 I'm creating. And then I'm going to say that VLAN 100 will be my private VLAN isolated. And then VLAN 200 will be my private VLAN. Uh, private VLAN it will be community VLAN something so like that you can have any number of um, secondary VLANs but anyway isolated will be only one so the next thing uh, what we are going to do is on the switch 2 then we need to go to VLAN 10 we need to say private VLAN primary and then we need to say private VLAN association we need to associate the secondary VLANs here now probably in case of uh, private VLANs, normally it works in the transparent mode in the previous versions. We have to go and uh, do these configurations on all the switches if you want the private VLANs to work. But in this scenario, we are not going to do that. We are going to do all these configurations only on the switch 2. And we want to ensure that this configuration should automatically synchronize on the switch 1 as well. So for verification, we can use show VLAN private VLAN. So we can say show VLAN private VLAN is a command for verification. Now I can see I'm, I'm using a private primary VLAN of 10 and the secondary VLAN is 100 and 200. Now I should see the same configuration on the switch one and it should automatically synchronize. You can see the configuration information is automatically synchronized on the switch one without any problems. So this is also one, one major enhancement in the version three where you can also synchronize the uh, private VLAN information. Now there are some more enhancements like uh, we can we can also disable VTP if you want on specific switches and if you want to disable the VTP we have a special mode called VTP mode on off. Now it is going to disable the VTP messages on that particular switch and again if you want to re-enable we can change it back to either server or client automatically it will start uh, start synchronizing the VTP information. So it's not going to remove the VTP configurations. It will simply put that VTP off over there. So it's just, just, just like disabling on that particular device. That's one more thing. And if you want to disable VTP, we can also disable the VTP on a specific interface by just giving a command called no VTP. Now no VTP will automatically disable the VTP messages on that particular interface. So I'm not going to disable, disable here, but these are the options. Now let's take an example. Right now my switch one is my primary server. Now you may want this particular server to get back to the normal server, which means my secondary servers. So that just for security reasons, I don't want anyone uh, to log into the switch two and to make some changes or add some VLANs or remove the VLANs. Now if you want to make a particular a primary server, right now the switch two is a primary server. If you want to get back to the normal normal server, we can we can configure the VTP mode, or client or any other mode, transparent, and then we can set back to the server. Now, once you change the mode, automatically you can see the VTP show VTP status. Now the switch will will be a normal server, so it will lose this, its primary status. And if you try to create the VLAN. Let's say create a VLAN 10, it's already created anyway, but still you can see V configuration is not allowed when the device is not a primary server. So if you want to change the role, once you make some changes, uh, it's really recommended to just uh, disable the primary status on that particular switch by changing it to client mode and back to server mode. Now in this way, again, if you want to make that particular switch back to primary server, again, we need to do the same process like VTP primary, and then we need to say VLAN, and then it will ask you the password. Once you give the correct password, then it will change the role back to a VTP, a VTP server, primary server mode. Now, this is what we have verified. Now, in this, the good thing about this VTP version 3 is you got a lot of enhancements. Now, the first enhancement we verified in this lab is uh, by using VTP, we can hide the password. So it's going to provide some more security where the password will not be shown even if you show VTP status command. And the second thing is the configuration changes can be done only by the server and that too it will be a primary server. And you can have only one primary server within the VTP domain because 
um, and that and if any specific configuration information any vlan information or mst information is coming from the primary server it's going to match with the primary id and if that primary id matches in that case only the vtp information will be uh, the vlan information or mst information will be changed so that's a one major thing which means uh, you cannot add any any other device advertise the higher revision number and it's it's no more working based on the revision numbers in simple we can say and the one more enhancement in the vtp version 3 is we can not only synchronize the vlan information we can also uh, synchronize the mst configuration information and we can have the same primary server for vlan for mst same or it can be different servers but they both are both can have a different modes configured not really mandatory that they should use the same modes like switch 2 can be a server for vlan and switch 2 can be a client for mst configurations also and then vtp version 3 also supports extended vlans now in the previous versions extended vlans are only supported on the transparent mode but here you can create the extended vlans and we can also allow the synchronization of the extended vlans in the vtp version 3 now apart from that you can also uh, synchronize the private vlan information as well now in case of uh, vtp version 3 we can create some private vlan information and we can associate the primary and the secondary vlans and we can allow that particular vlan information to synchronize between the switches through vtp advertisements now these are the major enhancements done in the vtp version 3 uh, which is also added in the cci routing version 5 exams